is Communication Platform as a Service, also known as CPAS, a game changer. By 2020, 30% of enterprises will be using some flavor of CPAS. This is up from less than 5% in 2017, according to Gartner. Now, what type of customers use CPAS? Really, it's anywhere from an e-commerce type company with an online presence, all the way through to a more traditional public sector or telco organization. The types of use cases are ranging anything from alerts and notifications through to full customer experience and field service management. Types of products used are predominantly things like SMS messaging, social media chat apps such as WhatsApp, video interaction, and of course voice. Now the channels we're going to predominantly talk about are SMS through an API or via a campaign manager, chat apps such as WhatsApp, live video support, and voice messaging, predominantly text-to-speech we're going to talk about today. Now SMS is an extremely powerful solution. It has a 98% open rate. Commonly, all SMS messages you receive are read within three minutes. And most importantly, there's no need for any data access. So anyone, anywhere can receive a text message. Primary use cases are things like order delivery confirmation notifications, customer engagement, where you might want to send links out uh, and obtain conversion information on who's accessed those links and redeemed whatever it was that you sent them, through to mobile verification, such as your one-time passwords and PIN codes that you were sending out to your customers. Now, chat apps. The beauty of the 8x8 solution is really the one API connection to access any of the types of uh, chat apps that we can give you access to today. The ones that we have available are things like WhatsApp and Viber and Facebook Messenger, which are predominantly used in Europe and North America, through to some of the channels that are used in the APAC region, such as WeChat in China, Zalo in Vietnam, and Line in Thailand. And we will have more. Chat apps are a great communication channel because they are rich in media experience. You can send and receive photos, videos, you can obtain local, localization information, uh, you have read, read delivery receipts on the information, so you know if someone's read the message you've received, and they really are built for the conversational type interaction. Now a demonstration of a possible use case for chat apps. In this video, we are demonstrating how companies can leverage on 8x8 Wave Cell Connect to provide support to their customers using their channels of choice. Here we can see John Watts in WhatsApp screen. John is a traveler who lost his plane ticket, so he's contacting his airline support service over WhatsApp in order to retrieve that ticket. On the left side, we have the WaveCell agent using 8x8 WaveCell Connect dashboard. That is a ticketing system that offers multi-chat support over SMS and chat apps like WhatsApp. Let's look at the interaction between both. First, John sends a WhatsApp message over the official WhatsApp support number of the airline. That creates a new ticket that is opened by the agent available. The agent then asks John the necessary information for him to look for his ticket. Once the agent collects the information needed, he uploads the ticket over the website channel. Before it leaves, John takes the chance to ask for additional information for his trip. The agent then collects that information and quickly sends enriched pictures and the links over the WhatsApp channel. Once John has no questions left, the agent then can close the ticket and all the chat history is stored for further processing or legal effects.
Now, live video support. Interactions these days should not, and customers do not require them to only be able to built around traditional phone calls, emails, or sending screenshots via particularly in email interactions. Customers require more options and a better and richer uh, experience for that customer experience. Now, the benefits of live support. Imagine if you could basically have a uh, an agent have a live interaction with a customer without either one having to leave their their house or office of work. If you had, for instance, a uh, cable company with, uh, with delivering out satellite TV boxes, you could actually have that sent to the customer site and an agent remotely in the office can actually guide them through the setup of that box without them actually having an engineer have to go out and install that on their behalf. That could obviously save the cable company lots of money, but also could make sure that the customer has the full experience and they get their service up and running far quicker than potentially waiting for an appointment with an engineer to do it on their behalf. These services means that you can obviously record the interactions, you can annotate the images that you see, you can screen share, and quite in a good way, for at least from the agent perspective, the agent can control the interaction, the conversation with the customer remotely. Primary use cases, we talked about one with obviously the cable TV companies already, but there's also the insurance broker. Uh, it's very costly and timely to wait for an insurance broker to come out to a customer site to um, either analyze damage that might have occurred to a, to a car or something similar uh, and to give the customer a quotation. Imagine if you could do that all via video conversation and the agent could give a quotation to the customer there and then. Improves the customer experience, saves on cost, and everyone is happy with the experience. Now a demonstration of live video support. In this video, we are demonstrating how companies can leverage an 8x8 wave cell video support to provide remote video engagement to any customer on the fly without the need for mobile apps or any other downloads. Here we can see John Watson's mobile screen pointing is to his SMS inbox. John just had an accident and needs to provide proof to his insurance company WaveCell. Instead of sending a broker on site, the insurance company will use 8x8 WaveCell video support to collect evidence. On the left side, we are watching the 8x8 WaveCell video support dashboard. That is the insurance agent view. Let's have a look at the interaction between both. First, the agent will send John an SMS that contains a link to initiate the video call so John can click whenever he's ready or available. John clicks on the link and automatically his broker starts the video interaction channel with no need for additional downloads. That also triggers a new ticket at the agent site so whatever agent available may take the video call. The agent has now access to John's camera and may use the voice channel or the chat channel to ask John to point the camera to the area of interest. Once John does that, the agent can take a screenshot of the video. That screenshot automatically includes the timestamp for legal purposes and allows the agent to take notes over the picture on the fly. Once the agent is done, he sends a copy of the picture with the editing and annotations to John and closes the camera. Finish, the agent also collects John's location for legal and dispute purposes before ending the call. After the call, all the information, including the chat transcription, pictures, annotations, and the location information, is available offline so the agent can send it to the dispute broker. Now, voice messaging. Voice APIs are very flexible and can do many different things. What we're going to concentrate today is mainly predominantly around text-to-speech interaction, which is used in predominantly in a customer engagement experience. Now, the idea is that using the APIs to send out an outbound text-to-speech uh, interaction, which is a voice recording, 
that is then played to the receiver when they receive it. This can be done in 20 plus different languages and uh, allows another option rather than just sending out a text message to a customer. The sort of use cases for this are one-time passwords, alerts and notifications, all the way through to marketing promotions and interactive voice response messages, commonly known as IVR. Now, hopefully we've shown you that there's many different ways that you can use communication platform as a service, CPaaS, within your business and to enhance the communications that you have with your customers. We look forward to speaking to you soon. We look forward to hearing any questions that you might have. And we look forward to also hearing your success with dealing with your customers better.